What's happening my lovely Spockalites? I hope you're all having a nice evening. I sure have. I'm holding plenty of battles and um, as my final battle for tonight I just want to do a live narration so hoping to get a good match out of it. I'm bringing some new pokes alongside my old pokes. Um, for example my old pokes will, um, are the Dude which is Slowbro, Diva which is Chinchino and um, Assault Fist Conkelder. Um, I still have to nickname that motherfucker. And I have three new Pokemon with me. Treebeard the Trevenant. I think I used it before, but I want to use it again. Um, I think it's a nice score between it and Slowbro. And I'm bringing Talonflame. Life Orb Will-O-Wisp Talonflame. So I hope the Will-O-Wisp deck might do some um, good. And finally, I have Choice Scarf Moxie Salamence as the late game sweeper. So a lot of force behind it this time. And I really hope we can get a good bout out of it. I'm battling a guy um, I met on Facebook. He is one of the gym leaders um, from these um, from the Pokemon League, Xeon League, um, which I covered a couple of days ago. But this time he's only bringing a regular team just because, you know. So he's bringing the Ninetales, Hydreigon, um, Ampharos, which I'm going to assume is Mega, um, ba -ba -ba -bam, Zoroark, Rotom Wash and Fortress. So yeah, it's also it's uh, he has some defensive ish, uh, de some defensive pokes with him. The Rotom Wash and the Fortress, so special wall, physical wall maybe. And um, I really should take uh, watch out for um, Ampharos because it gets if it gets set up with a Cotton Guard or anything, um, it, it's it's going to be difficult to take him down. So I'm going to lead off with Diva right here because I pretty much outspeed anything unless it has a choice scarf and if it is the Zoroark I do outspeed I can U-turn out uh, breaking anything that necessary um, so yeah it's, it's fun uh, let's get the show on the road so Simon is issuing a challenge and of course I gladly accept and I lead off, as I said, with the Diva, and he leads off with Fortress or the Zoroark. So in any case, U-Turn is going to do a decent chunk of damage. I can't do anything else against this Fortress, so that's not too shabby. But I'm going to U-Turn out right here, and let's see if it's the Zoroark. It's not the Zoroark, it's the Fortress. So meaning this means that I can switch in something with a Fire-type attack, which is Talonflame. So even without, um, it's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh, he's gonna go for the full switch. So we're gonna have some nice switching here. That was a great play on his behalf. He gets the critical hit, reducing uh, my health by almost half. So that's, uh, you know, you take the game as it is. <laughs> so that's okay. But he switches into Rodon, which is of course a natural counter to Talonflame, but I have a natural counter to Conkelder, um, to Rotom, which is Conkelder. So I'm gonna switch into Conkelder, but I do expect him to Volt Switch out again. So he's, he's a, he has like a Volt Switch core. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that his um, little dragon Ampharos thing also has it and all that. So yeah, you know, this basically just means that I need to get Stealth Rocks up as soon as possible. But he goes for the Hydro Pump, and let's see, it is if it's a defensive set, I can easily take that. Look at that, that's a decent amount, it's not a defensive set, it has the, the Life Orb, so I'm gonna go for a Drain Punch right here. Um, just, you know, he's gonna full switch out, I can take it, and uh, anything that switches in won't appreciate the, the Drain Punch, I assume. So... Let's see what we can do, but I do get a Drain Punch off. It doesn't. It didn't take a ghost type with him. I don't think so. That's gonna be okay. So he's taking his time to decide what he is going to switch into. So yeah, he's gonna switch it to the Nine Tails, which is actually sp um, specially defensive usually, so not physical. So I can. I think the Drain Punch will do a lot, and I think I can even heal up just enough to survive his next attack and kill it off with a second Drain Punch. And maybe, if I'm lucky, he can even go for a Will-O-Wisp, which will, is going to boost my attack stat phenomenally. So, I, uh, yeah, you see, I have a lot. He goes to the Fire Blast, which is mm, probably going to do a 
decent amount, but it doesn't kill. I don't get the burn, sadly. That doesn't matter. This Drain Punch will take care of the Ninetales. And I heal up a little bit, taking me out of the red, putting me back in the yellow. So that's okay. So Gungeldur is a force to be reckoned with. Make sure that if you build a team that you have something that can take down a Conkeldor because I promise you um, that if you don't... Hmm, the Hydreigon... I'm not trusting this. I'm gonna... Hmm, I'm gonna Drain Punch. I'm gonna see if I can live... I can live a Flamethrower, a non-stab, unless it's Specs. But it doesn't... I live and I can kill this guy with one Drain Punch. So that is great. It doesn't kill him because he has a Focus Sash though. But I get a lot of health back and I can finish it off with a Mach Punch. And it turns out this is the Zoroark. So a Mach Punch will take care of the Zoroark as well. So that's two Pokemon down. Conkelder really pulling through. So yeah, that's great, you know. <laughs> that's great. So, yeah, sadly for him, he lost two Pokemon. Um, oh, no, he doesn't want to lose a Zoroark just yet, so he's going to switch into Fortress at this point. Um, probably, yeah, to get some extra damage off. Let's see what the Mac Punch does here. That does nothing. So, I can take this opportunity to heal my Conkeldur back up, because I'm I can just go for a Drain Punch right here. And if he can try to set up, that's okay. Actually, that's pretty. That's okay by me. I do I have a rapid? I don't have a rapid spinner, so that's gonna suck. But I can take this opportunity to heal my Conkeldur back up to practically full. Look at that. Look at that. That's yeah. It's less than I would have wanted, but that's okay. Uh, but with the Stealth Frog, that basically means that my Talon Flame is useless unless. Did I take the uh, rapid spin with me? I don't think I took I took rapid spin with me. I usually forget that, um, so that's gonna suck. But yeah, you know, Conkeldur is really proving um, to be a very decent player here. So I'm just gonna keep on drain punching and get his health back as much as possible, because Rotom can't do anything against this guy. Um, Hydreigon won't be able to kill me once I'm back to full health. Uh, the Zoroark gets taken care of with the Mach Punch, so keeping this guy alive is priority. And I get the crit here, uh, which will sadly lessen his time. Um, no idea why I went for the Stealth Rock right there. Um, probably a misclick. But yeah, you know, I can now I can pretty much finish off this Fortress. Now uh, he doesn't want to switch anything into the Drain Punch, it would seem. That's why he went for the Stealth Rock. Maybe he's... Uh, he's choice locked or something I don't know I have actually no idea why why he went for the stealth rock again but I'm gonna go I'm gonna keep on going for the drain punch uh, health is health he barely lives he still has the one HP left I am almost back to full I ah, okay now he goes for this full switch so basically this fortress alongside the Zoroark if I can get the stealth rock up these two Pokemon will go down so maybe a priority, it depends um, on what will happen. But he brings in the uh, Ampharos and I'm gonna assume he's gonna Mega Evolve. So should I go for the Ice Punch? I'm gonna go for the Ice Punch right here. But I think he's gonna Mega Evolve and with the Ice Punch that will be super effective damage on the Dragon type. So <laughs> let's see if my predictions are correct. So, so far it's going 6-5, but um, two of his Pokemon are almost down, while I still have pretty much my team, except for the Talonflame. The Talonflame is pretty much Death Father at this point. But yeah, he's gonna Mega Evolve and go for the Dragon Pulse, but I should be able to take that with the Assault Fest, and the Ice Punch is gonna do a decent amount of damage to this guy. Look at that, that is well over half. Um, but basically his Dragon Pulse will take care of me. Um, I'm gonna go into Treebeard at this point, because Treebeard is specially defensive. Not sure if I can live a Dragon Pulse though, or a ton, but a Thunderbolt I can still take, but a Dragon Pulse I'm not sure. Let's just see what we can do. He goes to the Dragon Pulse, and that does 
Ooh, that is a, a horrible amount of damage. What I want to do here is I'm going to go for Leech Seed. So Treebeard is probably going down. Look at that. He outspeeds the the, <laughs> the Ampharos. I think Ampharos, Mega Ampharos is like 40 base speed or something. It's, it's horribly low. Horribly, horribly low. And, uh, okay, but, 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 I said what, what, in the butt. Basically, what I want to do here is I'm going to switch in my Choice Scarf Fitiate, my, my Salamence, and um, I am going to go for a stab. Wait, let me see. I'm just going to go for Outrage right here. I still have plenty of Pokemon to deal with whatever is left, especially the Conkeldor for um, the um, Fortress and the uh, Zoroark. So um, those are two extra Pokemon. He won't be able to live this Outrage, so that's another one down. So basically now he has four, but two of them are almost dead. So that's great. And now I get a Moxie boost, meaning that my next Outrage will be even more powerful. So that's great. And yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. So th th it's the goal of the Salamence is to, to go in, revenge kill, and um, hopefully get some decent attack boost and then just kill shit. So I'm not sure if he still has a steel type on his team. Um, I hope not. But let's see. Let's see. But it's looking great. Oh yeah, if you want to have some fun, guys, I um, <laughs> I I recently uploaded like a small little video. It was um, a friend of mine and 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 me on Teamspeak, and we were just jamming. He was playing the guitar and I was singing, and I wanted to show it to him what I've recorded, so that's why I uploaded it. If you want to have a good laugh, I know you guys enjoy the sweet sweet sounds of my voice when I'm singing, but <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> let's uh, if you want to have a good time. So, but yeah, in any case, uh, he's switching and uh, looking at the uh, health, that's the Zoroark, he won't be able to outspeed me, and the second Outrage um, will kill him. So, basically, at this point, um, I'm gonna get confused after this Outrage, so that sucks a little bit. I should have gone for the Dragon Claw, because it wouldn't, give me, it wouldn't have given me the confusion. And the Zoroark goes down. And uh, now I'm at plus two, but basically I I can try to get out of the confusion and just, just attack. Or, uh, but with the Dragon Claw, that wouldn't have been necessary. So that, that was a little bit of a silly play on my behalf. But yeah, you know, live and learn. That's what they say, live and learn. And I'm starting to sing again. I always do this. But yeah, so 30 minutes in, um, his one um, his Pokemon are going down, so <laughs> that's great. He's just deciding what he wants to switch in now, and I have no idea why he wants to switch in now. I think Rotom might be able to take it, take um, one hit. Although I'm not sure. I'm not. I don't remember its HP level or if it's still alive. Um, but he can try and go for a burn or something and. Uh, Hopefully I get some, I f hopefully for him I get some confusion hacks that I hit myself. If I, I think if I hit myself I would just die because I'm at plus two. But yeah, he switches in the Rotom. He still has a decent amount of health left, so... Um, I still have to go for the Outrage because I'm Scarfed. So let's just go for it, let's just go for it. I still have Chinchino with the Bullet Seed to take down this Rotom if necessary. Um, and Conkeldor can pretty much take care of all the rest. But let's see if I can pull this off. No, I hit myself in confusion. Look at that. That's a shit ton of damage. And he's going to go for the Hydro Pump, but I do resist that. So I get another chance. I Oh, no, I don't get another chance. I forgot this was an offensive set, so that would have been enough. But look at that. He's taking damage from the Life Orb, so that's great. And basically... Basically, I'm going to switch in Diva here. So that I can a bullet seed it to oblivion because I do outspeed. So that's great. That's gonna be great. So if he decides to stay in, he's gonna die. If he doesn't stay in, um, then at least something will die. 
Yeah, maybe not the Hydreigon. He still has the Hydreigon, but the Rotom is gonna die. So that's that's good. That's fine. I'm loving it. Okay. So the Rotom is going down to the seeds of bullets. Or the bullets of seeds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm still I'm still getting used to this live narrating, like filling up all those dead moments like when the opponent is thinking or when when the moves are like skill link it takes a little time and I still need I still need to like get into the flow of it you know but I'm trying I'm trying I'm doing my best um, I think last video it went a lot better than this video but you know it's 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 I'm getting there I'm getting there I really hope you guys enjoy these um, live narrator battles so at this time he's actually gonna switch into Hydreigon and uh, what I want to do here is I need to sack something. I'm gonna go. Oh, oh, I, oh, this hurts me. I'm gonna go into Talonflame um, as a sacrificial because I don't want to do that to the dude. I don't want to do um, to die just like that. The dude has to do something because that's it's the dude. I don't care about Talonflame. Fuck Talonflame. He was just a spare. <laughs> Stupid piece of shit. Look at that. You died. That's what you did, you died. Piece of shit. So now I can safely switch into Conkelder. Um, and what did he go for? For the flamethrower? He went for the flamethrower. Um, if he's choiced, I can live a flamethrower. If he's choiced. If he's not choiced, maybe I could still even live a Draco. Because I didn't see life or damage. And hopefully I can get a Dream Punch off here. If I make a major misplay at this point and I die, then I'm the one to blame. So basically, this game is coming to a close. He's gonna go for the flamethrower, that's not gonna do anything. Look at that, look at that, and the drain punch. And Conkelder is back to full. No, not back to full, but he's getting there. He's again unreachable for the revenge kill. So awesome, 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 awesome. He has uh, the Foragers left, which can't do anything. And I didn't get the Stealth Rock up. That's okay, I guess. Did I even have a Stealth Rock user on my team? I don't think I had a Stealth Rock user on my team. Or there is one Pokemon I didn't use yet. Nope, I'm pretty sure I didn't take anyone. So yeah, basically, we just took him out. That's okay. I'm going back to 104 HP. And um, I defeated Simon. So good game, Simon. Thank you for the battle. It was very close. Um, but yeah, Conkelder, man. Conkelder. You need to find an answer to Conkelder. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to finish this video off before I reach the 20 minute mark. So now it's at 18. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, share the video. Um, give your mama a kiss from me and I'll see you guys next time. This is Sparkles. Peace out.